hello and welcome um yeah as you can see i am uh, starting my rover construction videos um my first um i i don't know what you'd want to call this a rover i don't really know what they're called but it's basically going to be for the kerbals just to drive around in on the moon um this isn't going to be the launch vehicle but my main concern is is that i want this thing to be compatible so I can pull up underneath it and you know basically plug it in and you know get battery power or whatever else so you know I'm gonna have some RCS on here too so it'll be able to charge up its RCS fuel and everything else so if I can build it and it will work on here then it should be able to work anywhere technically but um, yeah so I might as well begin construction and you know I can show you guys a little bit of tricks while I'm um, building um, I've gone about as far out with these legs as I want to go and um, then I just put some struts on here or I, I not struts but um, or yeah I guess they're called struts yeah um, yeah as you can see, I mean, I, in my tutorial video, I talked about how you can use X and C on the keyboard for these, but it's just, you know, I've been using these for so long that I forget that uh, there's hotkeys, you know, it's just a pain. Um, yeah, I mean, construction rover, or constructing rovers is kind of... It's like so much trial and error. I just didn't. I, I didn't really think you guys would want to see a video of it, but um, yeah, I guess I guess you guys will watch anything now, will you? Uh, uh, whatever. But um, so another really fancy button that I guess nobody knows about, or I, I mean, it's it helps me get through building these things quickly. Is uh, Alt. You hold on Alt and. Uh, see this whole piece if you hold on alt boom look at that don't even have to you know build the whole other side it, and it helps keep symmetry too it's the best part about it you don't have to uh, do much to keep this thing happy you just rotate it and boom you got that and uh, oh crap yeah speaking of symmetry um I'll just go back and uh, do that again yeah, so the moon base is underway. I mean, this is going to be at one piece. There's going to be a lot of stuff that I got to get over there. So once again, I hit alt. Uh, okay, so get this thing on there. Come on. Come on. There we go. Now look at that. Oh, yeah. Forgot that side. Um, yeah, the moon base is on its way. I'm... Basically, you know, I go to work during the day, and, um, yeah, all I'm thinking about is concocting strange new things to land on the moon and see what I can land on the moon today or tomorrow. Um, but, yeah, this is not going to be the landing platform to it. I don't even think I'm going to bring another one of these to the moon. It was, this thing fought me the whole way. It just wasn't stable, everything else. It drove me insane. Um... You know, I probably had to fly six or seven of these things to the moon before uh, I even got a uh, got something that worked. I, I had I used my old style lander, and that thing was even worse. I used a new style lander. It, it you know, it was just like holy crap. It, I I couldn't even. It just drove me insane. Um. Which this game can do really easily for some reason. I, 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 if you don't, if you build something that works and then, you know, you want to see if it works again sometimes, it's just like, that thing will fight you until, like, you are basically about to give up. And then, for some reason, once you get to that, that state of mind that it's never going to work again, it works. Randomly. It's great. I love it. Um... That's what my Sunday consisted of, just getting that rover to the moon. That was like, I, I mean, I, I had a lot of other things to do, and like, I was compelled 
you need I needed that rover on the moon um, yeah I like using these wheels I mean it, it, there isn't really anything else I wish there was maybe a few different sets of wheels that you could use you know like I, I know that this game still has a lot of things to address and there's so many things that need to be added to the game but I mean it's pretty much as good as it can get um, right now I'm, I'm pretty sure that in the future they're probably gonna add some kind of stationary wheel to the game and uh, maybe some kind of turn based system you know that you know you can operate the wheels and they'll turn right and left and everything else that way you don't have to use like RCS to you know if you build something that's you know like about the land on the moon you know you don't I'm surprised I'm sure they'll have something eventually so this is like the base vehicle it's something I had in mind all day actually so I mean this should work I don't see any reason why it shouldn't now this is like I said this is going to be ion powered so we are going to need lots of batteries and um lots of uh two ion engines which I am going to attach right now. Um, yeah, there's one ion engine basically right there, and the other one will be right here. I just gotta put in all the rest of the stuffs. Um, yeah, I'm kind of going a lot of different directions with my channel, if you guys haven't noticed. I'm, I'm looking to give you guys a lot of it. Um, you know my knowledge with this game you know all at once and there's just so much that like I'm finding I can't even put even half of you know what I intend to do on one video uh, but you know it's nice to kind of vent this off to you guys right now um, yeah so here's one engine put the other one right here and I, I will put RCS on this thing too. You don't. I, I don't want you guys to think I'm against RCS. My main thing is is not that I I don't want RCS. It's more of like I want something that will be able to operate for long periods. I want something you know that I can use for multiple times. I can go 40 or 50 meters with it, uh, or I mean kilometers with it. And I won't have to worry about anything. I'll be able to just travel around on the moon and go anywhere with it. Um, let's see. Is that going to conflict? No, that's good. Um, yeah. Uh, the moon base is kind of underway in a sense. Uh, symmetry. Uh, let's see. There we go. Um, it's underway in a sense. Um... I'm still thinking about a lot of things and I'm trying to figure out you know like things like this is just is this gonna work is this gonna fit underneath when I go to launch it which I'm actually just gonna do right now um, I'll save it launch now this has to fit for the most part underneath otherwise it's redesigned again which it's not gonna be too much of a problem but um, well, that is going to be a problem right here because I'm not going to be able to test it out to drive. Um, let's see what we get. Wow. First try. I, I got to give myself a hand here. Yeah, I know what you guys are thinking. That does not sound like what... You, you just take that thought out of your mind. Uh, okay, back to Space Center. Oh, whoops. Yeah, no. Go back to the... Uh, VAB. So that surprisingly worked perfectly. First time. That's not a normal thing from uh, to happen for me. So, you know, you guys got to see something that was like once in a lifetime. Now, um, I'm going to address that other feature which just happened to me where um, basically it wasn't facing the right way. If you just click on your... Uh, you know this is basically the core of it uh, you can just turn it like that there you go boom it's the right way uh, I think um, But yeah another really interesting feature that I found 
out of building these rover kind of, uh, these rovers you need to build your base for your rover first like how this is set up this is the main rocket this is just the like you know it's just an attachment if you do it the other way around where you construct the rover first and then the lander portion um it does not like to disconnect in space it does not like to disconnect period i don't know why it's got to be some kind of a bug but it won't disconnect I, I i don't know why i didn't make the game so don't yell at me so i'm telling you this now if you're gonna build the rovers you gotta disconnect these or you gotta make sure you build the the lander first then the rover otherwise yeah you're gonna have problems um i i you know it, it took me a long time just to come up with something like this and you know i i'm trying to save you guys some time if you guys want to build your own rovers and just you know copy what i'm doing go ahead i i'm totally okay with it um now i don't mean that you know open up your own let's play or whatever you want to call it and say hey yeah i invented this rover and this is my idea because i totally i mean it's it's the game's idea but i mean i'm showing you guys how to do it whatever anyways um so yeah this is the basic rover everything else I mean, I'm going to slap on a few batteries. I don't need to show you guys all that stuff. I'm the RCS and all that. Um, because I'm only limited to 15 minutes. So it's, I think it's getting close. I'm not really too sure. Um, yeah, so I'm going to slap on all that stuff. But the base model is already here in front of you guys. Um, this, like I said, this isn't going to be the launch platform for it. I'm going to probably throw it on a regular size rocket and send it out, um, you know, with a crew. So they'll land that at the base and the crew and everything else and yeah so thank you guys for watching if you like what i'm doing here subscribe and uh there's always more to come always thank you bye